Hey everybody, my legion, how y'all doing? Uh, Christmas time's coming around the corner. I did a couple of videos, Christmassy videos, uh, well, like reviews. I did uh, one of the holiday Oreos that's supposed to be geared toward, you know, like Quans and Hanukkah and Christmas, you know. I did that and I did the Snowflake uh, Rich Crackers. And now I thought I'd do a review of uh, that movie Christmas Bounty from WWE Films starring Mike DeMiz Mazanik. Uh, and this is a movie that he's been hyping up for about a year. Saying he's going to be in this movie on, on ABC Family. The ABC Family channel, part of the 25 Days of Christmas. And uh, basically the movie's about, like, the school teacher. Uh, I forgot the girl's name. It's on uh, the thumbnail. But <clears throat> she, she's a school teacher. And then a little later on, like, five minutes into the thing, there's, like, a missing kid. And then you find out she's a, a bounty hunter. And then apparently what happened when she stops the car with the kid in it, the, dad, the kid's dad is not supposed to be, uh, has, does not have visitation rights to the kid. And then she tells him she has to, he has to turn himself over to the cops about that. And then you find out she's a bounty hunter. She comes home, and her whole family's, uh, family of bounty hunters. And her mom and dad are supposed to be like a take off of, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter and Beth. And during this, uh, party, they go to, she's going out with this, like, this hoity-toity, guy and they're going to be married to her fiance and she goes to their his party Christmas party with his snobby parents to introduce them to her introduce her to them and uh you know like nah, nah, nah. and and she and you know all and then she gets a call from this guy that just escaped from jail it's probably this mob guy saying that you know he put her in like six years ago and she's going to come and get him and basically this starts the whole thing with her trying to track this guy down and she runs into her ex-boyfriend who's still hired by the family and that's played by Mike the Miz the Miz WWE superstar the Miz you know and basically what happened they, they had a lot of fighting in there and then and then the story switches to her and this fiance trying to get together and the Miz is barely in the movie for a, a big chunk of it and that part is so boring and the female lead is so boring. If they would have had the Mike the Miz in it, well, they, they would have had the Miz in it, it would have been a much better movie. You know, they, they could have had the Miz in it and then, like, redid the whole movie and it would have been much better. You know, because he's the only actor in the movie that seems like has any real charisma and stuff. And um, and that's why people are watching for the Miz. And, you know, and since it's WWE Studios, they have to have a wrestler in it, you know. And basically what happens is... Uh, they find out that this, uh, that they're going to have, like, this big wedding and stuff like that. And the wedding is horribly staged. It didn't look like an authentic wedding with all these, uh, gangster criminals and stuff like that. And, uh, but the boyfriend gets kidnapped. Her fiancé gets kidnapped. And she's there to try to find him at the wedding. And, uh, they, they start opening fire. And then finally, uh, well, they, I, I don't want to give the ending of the movie away. But, I mean, it started out okay, but then it just gets really, really, really stupid. The best part of the movie was when Mike was, uh, the Miz was saying, uh, she was talking to the girl and the Miz was like, really? You really want to do it? Really? Because he does that a lot uh, during his wrestling thing. And then at the last, and there's a little bit of car chase action, which isn't bad. And I had the last two minutes of the movie when the credits were and they had like this, uh, oh, this music video dance thing that's actually really cool. That's probably one of the best things in the movie. It's right at the very end. It's terrible. They could have they should have had that energy and put it in the rest of the movie and got some of this horrible stuff with bad unappealing actors out of it and did something better with the Miz and stuff like that and made it more entertaining. And also since it's on the ABC Family channel but there's some violence in it and it's the, some of the humor is a little risque somewhat so it's for older kids like I don't know, like 10 and up, maybe. You know? But, I mean, well, the kids might like it. But, I mean, it's probably one of those things you probably watch once and probably want to want to watch again. You know? It's too bad. It could have been okay, but, I mean, as, as it is, I'd have to give maybe a, a 2 out of 10. 
And it said if they would give the Miz more to do and refurbished it a little bit and put some of the energy in the last two minutes of that dance number, it could have easily been a three or four out of ten, which isn't saying much, but better than a two out of ten. So this is my review of uh, Christmas Bounty, the WWE movie from ABC Family, part of the 25 Days of Christmas. So until next time, please like, share, and subscribe, and take care of my legion.